So this kind of matches the profile that you had, just using a simple spline shape. Um, I'm just going to add some fillet or fillet to it, move the number, and it nicely rounds that. If they're too close, then they'll nicely do something like that. Though, careful because they're so close together that I'm just going to weld those points just a little bit. Here, I believe you had a little bit of a curve right there. So let's say that's your shape. Uh, and for the pivot, um, I'm having it way over here so that it's about the same you know, radius when I do lathe. So lathe, boom, there we go. Now you can see that it's really low poly going around the edges. That you control with segments in lathe. So go more. Now what I like to do is make sure that there is a cross all the way going straight. So we see that there's this line perfectly flat, this line perfectly flat, but on the side that one is and that one is over there. Now some people, you know, I'm gonna go with the lower segment to do something like this. There's no line up there, no line up there, none here. There's one here. That's gonna make cutting this into pieces um, if you had to modify, you know, use century across way, it's a pain in the ass. It's always cleaner to model with a cross section like that. So you can easily slice it up like pizza. So uh, I'm just going to give this 32. 32 is pretty much okay. I'm going to go 64. And to, for the size that you're going to print this at, you know, it'll be like that. You won't really notice the faceting maybe. I mean, clearly, feel free to go higher, uh, but if you wanted these curves to be a little more defined, that is within line. And right here, you'll see under interpolation, it's called step. The lower I go, the lower poly it looks, the higher I go, the better. Six is standard. Click this little, uh, little beaker looking thing, and it shows you the above, so that's one to get around it, so you see something like this. So in this case, six to me seemed fine. Um, now for your little cross sections that you want, I think what you can do is make a box. I'm gonna make sure that it lines up right on top of that line. And I'm really picky, so I'll go really close in and line it up. Go up to the top. Make sure it overlaps like that. I don't really care about the inside, because the inside, we can just cap that off. But down here, add an edit poly. Move that straight down into there. And push that back like that. Maybe it'll go kind of halfway inside of itself. Um, like that, if you wanted it really close. Something like that, so where it's not cutting out from the front. Like that. Because when you print it, it's so small, it might as well be matching. So I think that works. So now, I have that one guy, and I'm going to make his pivot match this guy's pivot. So I affect pivot only. And I'm going to click the Align tool and choose my cylinder, and boom, center, center, it matches up. Okay, and I like to hit W, E, and R just to make sure all the rotation, translation, and scale matches. And now your object will nicely rotate around. So I'll, uh, I also like to turn on angle snaps so that it goes in increments of five, so I can easily say choose maybe 10 and then I duplicate a bunch of times make sure that you choose instance over copy copy you just make one and if you try to modify one it only modifies one if you make an instance it'll modify all of them so i'll show you as an example um so i'm gonna go 15 hopefully it should be enough if it's not i'll go another Shift drag 10, make sure that it's instance. 18 maybe will work. Aha, uh -huh, almost there. 10. Boom. 10. 
works out. And watch what happens if I affect just one of these. Instead of poly. Ah, see, so I messed up. See this little guy right here? This isn't highlighted. So when I affect just this one, only that guy gets affected. Or if I move this guy over here, all those ones that I had as an instance get affected. So I'm going to get rid of those bad ones. And because I move them at rotations of 10, I'll be fine. Instance this time. Perfect. All right. And try that again. It's a test. Boom. It's a cool little saw blade. All right. So that's my way of doing that piece. Now your top thing that you had. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll add an edit poly. And I'll move up. Out up again. I'll go with that. I'm gonna make something different. Uh, I'm actually gonna end the video right here.